A very, very feel-good story. Glad Jack is doing just fine. But you've seen how important pet insurance really is. But I want to try this one more time. Bella, you want to give me a high five now? Bella, high five. High five. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. You can do it. High five, girl. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> ah, what a champ. What a champ, absolutely. <laughs> but listen, we're still continuing on the topic of pet insurance because it really is important should you have that unnecessary uh, circumstance where you do have to rush your dog to the, to the doctor. So Graham is sitting down with our expert this morning just to answer all of your questions. High five. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh man, we are glad to see that Jack is back to his usual self. Now, hearing his story, it really makes you realize that if we fall ill or need medical attention in the event of an accident, our medical aid gives us that peace of mind that we can get treatment, the relevant treatment, and of course the finances taken care of. And it is so beneficial for us, why not for our furry friends as well. We've got Louise Beavers, Director of MediPet, here to give us all the insight we need to get our pets covered. Mm -hmm. Of course, the pets coming and going, showing us how vital they are. This is something, unfortunately, that we only generally broach from my experience after something has happened to our pets. Why is it so important to get cover right now? If something does happen and you're not insured, we cannot cover you for that condition. However, if you get them on when they're fit and healthy, then when those unforeseen things happen, they will be covered by their pet insurance. So how does cover actually work? We've kind of um, loosely broached the idea of pre-existing conditions, yes. which we know, uh, as with our normal medical aid, there's either an incubation period or you are not covered for mm. that. But how does cover typically work when in, in the case of our pets? Okay, so every, every animal is looked at as an individual case on MediPet. All accidents, illnesses and injuries are covered. And we do take on breeds that have problem so your like your little squash faces yeah, you know, of they, course. they will all be covered a lot of pet insurance companies do not cover them um, for those breed specific conditions medipet will provide it they have not occurred prior to signing up so what do we as consumers need to be aware of when looking to get um, pet insurance it's cost sensitive so that is an individual choice of what you can spend but bear in mind that vet bills do rack up very quickly into the tens of thousands exactly yeah. so if you bear that in mind then Paying a two, three hundred rand premium a month is actually not such a bad thing when you are covered for up to the maximum of 35,000 wow. rand per year. Sure. And believe me, it gets to that very quickly. And I think also if you do have a breed specific animals, you need to look very carefully at the policies and make sure that there are what breeds are excluded and what conditions are excluded. So for example, with MediPet, as I said, there are no breed exclusions. So Brilliant. any any animal is welcome to come on and provided they haven't had something happen to them before, they will be covered for those breed specific conditions. Um, the other thing is, is that some some policies do offer cover for vaccinations. MediPet actually doesn't because we feel that that is the responsibility of the pet owner. And that should so, be happen when you, when you buy that pet or when you rescue that pet. Absolutely. That and should happen. That yeah. is your, as an owner, responsible pet owner, you should be responsible for sterilisation, vaccinations and also your general monthly tick and flea prevent, preventative medicines. That's what you should be um, responsible for. So those things are not covered, but... Generally, every other accident, illness and emergency will be covered. Um, different companies have arrangement, different p payment plans. Some have a card. Some make you pay up front and claim back. MediPet does prefer you to pay the bill up front. However, if it's a big bill, not all of us have yeah, 15 grand sitting to, in. Yeah. Then we will happily pay the vet directly. Oh, I love that. I love, it, it sounds adaptable for every person's needs. I love the fact that you, you guys are helping us broach those nightmare situations, yeah. those ones that we don't really want to think about, but we have to, um, and that's the yeah. bottom line. So go out and get coverage for your pet. Louise, thank you so much. You've calmed bells right down. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful pup. But thank you so much for, for giving us some insight as well. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Make sure, just like yourself and your own family, your pet, which is definitely included in that family model, make sure they are covered for those situations that we can't handle financially. There are support structures there for us. You've just got to plan ahead.